Hi guys, Pepper Brown here once again, and uh, today I just want to show you a little idea that a lot of people have been asking about, which is when you, you've got a pentatonic scale, uh, what can you do other than play licks with the pentatonic scale, where there's a ton of stuff you can do. The first thing you can do is first let's talk about the scale, the A minor pentatonic scale. <laughs> You guys should be familiar with that. If you're not, this video is not for you, but you need to know this scale really well. Okay, so the first thing you can do is uh, just deal with the numbers of the scale. We got the first note, the second note, third note, fourth note, and fifth note. And then the first note starts over again. One, two, three. Now, in terms of A minor, the scale tones would be root, flat third, fourth or eleventh, fifth, flat seven, and one. So, one of the very first sequences that you can do with the pentatonic scale is an old one from the 70s. And we're talking uh, guys like Johnny Winter and mostly Rick Derringer. And uh, that is a, a scale sequence using three notes at a time. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here's our scale. And back in the 70s, we all played it like this. Everybody played like that all the time. Their pinky cocked back there. And clapped and played like this. Anyway, so here's the scale. So in threes, you just play three notes. First note, second note, third note. And then you start on the second note and, play, and do that again. So you go second note, third note, fourth note. So you're going. Then you go to the, this note here. Here, all the way up. Let's change the angle slightly on this so you can get a better view. Okay, this might be a little bit better of a view for you guys. So we got. Okay, so that's just three at a time. Coming back. Okay, so you can go up like this too. Or you can do this. Oh, 
was the famous uh, Rick Derringer lick in uh, Edgar Winter and the White Trash Tobacco Road. If you guys go back and listen to the Edgar Winter and the White Trash live, Rick Derringer doing Tobacco Road with him. He was playing a red 335, and there was just some stellar lead playing on that song. Rick Derringer was really great. Okay, so we go three at a time. <laughs> And then up three. And you can go a little bit out of position. But the premise is just going down three at a time. So you want to do it in time. So you just get a beat here. I'm not going to turn a metronome on right now, but imagine if you have a metronome, you could turn it on and just do it in time like this. Practice, man. Okay, so you got to put a lot of uh, reps, a lot of reps to do this and get it down tight. Okay, so that's three. Now you can do little offshoots like this. You can go. To there. And then. There's an old rock lick. You guys should know that one. So I'm going. Or. And Alvin Lee. Adjust the lick any way you want. And then. Or you can go up. So you're coming down. got this lick in the middle now there's another lick that up uh, Robin Ford had this lick that he showed us back in the 70s when he was doing a seminar at the Dick Grove School he had this lick and it's a very simple lick but he has it embedded in his whole style Okay, so now these are the notes of the pentatonic scale. Now don't forget, um, I think 
Robin Ford called it the Carolina pentatonic scale, Carolina blues scale, where instead of playing this, you, that's the flat seven of the scale. He would go to the six and pull it a little bit, bend it, and then pull it up to the flat seven, and then trap the root like this. That was a popular sound back in the 70s. Instead of has a little more color to it, you know. So here's a natural third, um, major third, minor third, without A being the tonic or the key, right? There's a flat three, major third. So a lot of times just bend that flat three. So that gives it that little sweetness. And in A, you get this curve. Almond Brothers bluesy. You got that six right there. So that six is here and here. So if your A minor pentatonic's right here, don't forget you got this note here. This note here as that Carolina, sweet Carolina six. And also, uh Clapton, you know, and he was doing Here it comes. That's a very popular thing to do, especially when you got guys like Dwayne Allman, Dickie Betts, Eric Clapton, and a whole flurry of guitarists that were not afraid to blend the major pentatonic with the minor pentatonic. Larry Page, right? So that was a major and minor together. So you got your minor pentatonic right here. And you got that triplet, little triplet riff. And you can go up. to there 
you don't, you can choose to keep going with it. Or you can go like this. You can go a lot of different directions when you got a lot of vocabulary, okay? So this little idea of the triplets. And also keep in mind you've got geniuses like Jeff Beck where every time you got a note in the pentatonic scale every note in the scale you can play a half step lower and bend up to it so you got give it that sound it's more Jeff Beck ish like ish ish Jeff Beck ish because you got to hit a note and bend up to it and then uh, don't forget you know you you have a tremolo arm or he has a tremolo arm that he also puts vibrato with so combination of the two invokes a whole ton of new ideas which he's the master of Anyway, so here's this triplet riff. All right, so that's three notes, right? Okay, now what's after three math wizards? Four, right? So you got... A great lick is so again that's Take it all the way through like this. And going up. So you're going four at a time like this. Then go here. And then start here. So that one, um, that requires a whole shitload of practice because you got to get used to the pivoting and stuff with your hand. You...
you know, hours and hours and hours, you gotta. Okay, so now that's a very popular sound too, but there's an easier way. Uh, but it requires that you know your positions really well because here's A minor pentatonic right here And here's position two right here If you guys don't know that position Go to my website and download download the uh, minor pentatonic ebook and uh, It has all the positions in it for all these pentatonics and it's what I think it's four bucks on PayPal so big deal so and then here and now you got position five down here you have your choice you could do the stretch or you can Jazz guitar should play it like this. And rock guitar should play it like this. So position five. Again, I'm thinking Jeff Beck because he's like here. So you've got these five five positions, like position five, position one, and two. So now uh, you got to combine those positions together when you're doing the four note sequence. So you can go like this, position five, and instead of going like this. requires you to jump around a bit here you know. here okay so what you can do is it's in the pentatonic book and these you combine these scales together you've got position five and one and two so what you're doing is you're just doing uh, four notes, jump up to the next position, and up to the next position. Much more convenient, actually, if you want. So you just go like this. that if you practice the equal amount of hours you can do that a lot faster than the other one you Okay, so those are just a couple of ideas. You got triplets. And then four notes. And 
Now then, after that, after four, you got my favorite, which is what McLaughlin likes to do, or he liked to do back in the the uh, Mahavishnu Orchestra, was do fives. So you're doing five notes at a time. There's five. One, two, three, four. And then uh, rhythmically, it would be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. And McLaughlin would bend it. So you're still going. But you're bending it. And that was his little trademark lick, you know. Because it's a five, it's a five note pattern. But the top note's bent, so you're, the timing is. But you're not hitting the second note. You're just going. You know, those notes were in five, right? You got that's that pattern, five, five, eight pattern over that. So the five pattern is one of my favorites. I realize there's a, most of you guys have never ever practiced in five and it's got to be something completely alien to you but back in the early 70s that was like the thing to do was practice in five and seven and nine all the time uh nine was really put like catapulted forward uh by this riff uh jeff beck uh, did this riff <laughs> That was called Scatterbrain, and it was just... sloppier than shit i haven't played that in a decade so forgive me anyway that, so that was nine you know so nine was real popular in the early 70s sevens were popular you know um, 
And then, you know, everybody plays in eights, fours, and twos in triplets. That's across the board. Everybody plays in eights, fours, twos, and triplets, right? You got these guys who are shredders, who say they can do 30-second notes at, you know, whatever, 160 on the metronome. Well, they're playing eight, you know, they're playing... <laughs> So all those guys stopped dead in their tracks when you convert it over to fives and sevens because they have never, ever practiced it. But I'm just saying, you know, you've got these pentatonic patterns. You know, you've got three. You got four. And then I want you to try five. All right, so those three patterns, that'll keep you busy for many, many, many days, you know, if you if you slow it down and just work it out. Uh, you got to have a reason to do fives, you know. It's uh, something that uh, it grows on you if you listen to that kind of music, if you listen to the old Mahavishnu Orchestra and stuff like that which is what I cut my teeth on, so I really like it. But you guys have all the new stuff that doesn't ever really use fives. I think one group that uses odd times that I've heard recently is uh, Tool. Those guys like odd time signatures. But in any case, uh, so this is another little video on just some pentatonic ideas. So stay tuned for the next video, blog, whatever you want to call it, vlog, blog, vlog. Pepper Brown over and out for now.